two. Hey, lucky that I actually heard you talking, otherwise I was about to fall asleep. I was gonna come to wake you up and poke you with a stick. <laughs> oh, pour some cold water. Welcome yeah. back to Mass Effect. We're on Wednesdays now. <laughs> so I'm here with Sam and Liz. How are you guys doing? Doing good, doing good. And, uh, Ready to start with Mass Effect 2? Are we just gonna... Is this gonna be a continuation of before? Or are we just gonna let Liz do it? Or are we taking... What, what are I, we doing? I, I'm actually... Because this is my... Mass Effect 2 is my jam, so I think we can actually switch between the two of us. Right, okay, so do you want to go first? I'll start first, and then when my hour is up, I'll give it to Liz. Yeah. And you can sit there and get, get, end up getting achievements and end up not having to play the game. Basically being cut by me and my wife playing the game. <laughs> uh, I mean, like this is for story purposes, really. I know it's so. a, I know. I know. You know. You know. I'm yanking your chain. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm yanking your chain. But for your audience's sake, I'm yanking his chain. This is what yeah. we do as a joke. Now, um. Okay. I just uh, heard. Oh, Seb's here. Hello, Seb. He said, I just joined to say, hear Sam say, cocked by me and my wife. <laughs> uh, well, John, you're audible on the stream. Context, Seb. <laughs> uh, okay. What a way to celebrate International Women's Day. He said, indeed. So, um, do you want to go first, then? Should I invite you to the yeah, share? Yeah, yeah. It is International Woman's Day, hun. I'm so much of a woman that I didn't even know that. It's okay, most people didn't. <laughs> it's kind of fallen in the same vein as Valentine's Day and things there. It just happens. Like, I, apparently there's a cerebral palsy awareness month that I keep forgetting happens. <laughs> well, there's autism awareness month as well. There's also trans autism, which is where people identify as autism. Autistic or something. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Which yeah. is Okay, so I know it's offensive, and it's disgu it's really kind of offensive if you're autistic, because you know. Okay, getting back. Well, let's not get into this conversation. Uh, we can yeah, import aspect one, which means balding. The balding guy that we've got may look a bit better. We can change him a little bit with the plot that's happening. We can change him a bit if you want. Could you please but we'll make his face look a bit less? Uh... Ollie, like it does. I can promise. I can, prom I can promise to one of two things: to try and to get really mad when it doesn't go the way I expect it to go. Okay. Let's go with casual because we're here to get our story on. Let's go with subtitles, <laughs> for your benefit, if nothing else. What's that mean? In case you're not paying attention or the sound goes bad or something, you bastard. Oh right, right. <laughs> Gotta accommodate for everything, haven't I? I'm sorry for being courteous, you <laughs> cunt. <laughs> Okay. Wait, why are you such a sassy cow today, Sam? <laughs> I woke up in a good mood. This is really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sassy. Ooh. If I'm so sassy, why don't you spank me arse? Subtitles might also be useful to viewers who are okay. hard of hearing. Excellent point, Sam. Ooh. I, I, Ooh. I, I... Okay. Right. Cringiness aside, here's, I... what, here's what's getting imported over, just so you know. Right. Jack Shepard. Rank, he was level 49 by the end of the last game. He's a soldier. Paragon, Commander Shepard, followed the Paragon path. Rex survived. I know this sounds stupid, but these are the things you wanted to know at the end of the game last time. So, Caden was killed in, on Vermeer. The council was saved. And Commander Shepard put oh. Keith motherfucking David for a seat on the council. Yeah. Sam, if you could get the stream up as well, that'd be great. Um, I'll get the stream up. Get your, get your knickers in a twist. Yeah. But those are the important things. Like those are the key factors that you would want to know that get carried over. Yeah. If right, you do cool. start the game, if you do start the game without the first game stuff, though, you can make certain decisions. Although when I played it originally on the PS on the PS3, Rex, Rex didn't Rex didn't survive no matter what I did. It might have been a decision I made or something. I don't know, but this is what we're starting with. Uh, so... To have Rex survive, then... It's, I agree! It's because his brother is a butthead and just ends up leading the Krogan on rebellion again. Fuck's sake. 
Okay, Ollie, you're going to run into one of a character I think you will like a lot. For some reason, the elusive man, for some reason, reminds me of Seb, combined with the... Yeah. Uh, what will the, fuck? the comments right. on a normally inoffensive YouTube for. video have been disabled and Come wonder what the, the fuck happened there. The truth. Ollie? And still so, Ollie, how much do you like Willem Dafoe? Sorry. Third war. Um, no quite a bit. Admitted, okay, you're gonna done. like... The elusive man makes me think of Willem Dafoe for some reason. Get. You'll see it when you see his face. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Okay, so Even what do you remember about Cerberus? But um... Shepard, they'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody Okay, icon. so they're mentioned in the first game, but Cerberus but are not, man. are like a... Shepherd, they're a human supremacist follow. group, is the best way I can describe them. Then yeah. see to it that we... They, they are basically, their only interest is... For humanity itself they don't really care about the other races to the point of actual literal racism yeah. okay go the alliance made a tremendous sacrifice in order to save the citadel council and earn humanity membership and pursue speech council okay so here we go all those good two ladies <laughs> here we go ollie the normandy what a beautiful ship. I really hope nothing bad ever happens to this ship. Yeah. It's like a dark twist on the old Bill Clinton, Clinton quote about alien invaders. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. You might notice the faces in this game. The one are a bit better than they were in Mass Effect 1. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this oh, sector. But We haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The terminus point, system Seth is crawling Green. with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks right. like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Then it's an unknown ship. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Do you have the stream up, Sam? Stealth systems I are do. engaged. There's no way it gets shipped. I've got it on silent in the background. Oh, Brace for evasive maneuvers! It's That's just not a gap. It says two, so either you you didn't have it or Seth didn't. He might have oh, gone. Shit, shit, we're being shot at. Shit. Oh, shit, by the way, he's dead. at the end of the last one, oh, when the ships come in to save the Citadel, I, had, I made a little go go into it. I recognise that fire. ship. It's Crisps McVitties! <laughs> Ollie, our ship being destroyed. <laughs> Oh no! Presley's dead! No, Presley! Yeah, Presley, that guy! We're no longer ever gonna hear XO Presley has the, has the death. Never again, Ollie! It's over! It's done! He's dead! Oh no! Shepard, look at me! I'm People conveniently go, Presley wearing never die. Look, I'm conveniently wearing my hat. It's like a dark twist on the old Bill Clinton quote. Clinton quote about alien invasions. He was never associated with conflict or bloodshed. People called Get Presley never die. Still in the won't well, Presley's him. fucking dead. I'm not now. And also, I'm conveniently wearing a helmet so you don't see my face. Also, this is the game where the triggers I'll happen, you know, where you can press the button to do your Paragon or Renegade. Commander. Ashley, there is go. no Saeed. Now. Aye, aye. Oh, you just wait till I go grab Zaid Masani. Also, Everybody, notice Ashley's go, armor's go, different go. in this game. Okay, so people are seriously dying, though. This is quite the way to start the game. I was tempted to make a joke where I'd say, Oh no, we fucked up already. We failed the intro cutscene. Oh no! But then I realised that there was a Hitler parody once where he couldn't get past the PlayStation boot up screen and it kept and the game it ended before the game even started. How the fuck do you fail the boot up screen? Okay. Okay. This is ridiculous. Things are. I'm a. I'm a. God, I'm goddamn Commander Shepard. Explosions are not supposed to be happening around me. Mayday! Mayday! 
Ascension Sunday. Ascension Sunday. They think no, when they have the best. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. Okay, Ollie. Right. They say goodbye to the Normandy SR1. Oh no. Because this is it. It's gone. We will be getting the SR2, which is my personal favourite, by the way. Oh right. So it's not like... just. Fun... It's not just like the same ship. No, basically, okay, everything will, you know what, I'm not, I'm not, it's laid out a bit different, but it's built with the same specifications. Right. Because, I, I hate that. But you added bit. Look, I'm just going to say this, we we are going to be working for Cerberus for a bit. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. You can't save a fucking turd, you ass. Just let it go down the bowl. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Oh yeah, you know yeah, that okay. Joker's Help basically crippled effectively. Okay, okay. To explain, he can't w run or anything. Basically, his bones will shatter if he so much as puts too much pressure on them. Like he can fly the ship, but he cannot run. He cannot take blunt force, or he can't like even fall He's got fall brittle over. bones, is what you're saying. Like, but I mean brittle bones to the worst degree. Like the, like the, uh, like the only reason he's alive now is because surgery has advanced so much over the past few hundred years, it can keep him alive because he literally came out of the womb with everything broken. Oh, like that's how lucky Joker is. If you needed an expert, oh shit! Ollie. So Ollie, I know you didn't like the last version of Shepard's face. <laughs> Well, but now it's take... gone. Oh, not yet. Just watch. It's going to get worse, Ollie. Much, much worse. Well, three. Because the ship's exploded. There's no one around. What do you think happens when you're in space? I mean, you die. No, but what? No, what happens if you're closer to a planet? You fall into it. And what happens when you enter, enter the atmosphere? You burn up. Good boy. Also, for future reference, I wouldn't I probably wouldn't use the word crippled to describe someone with a condition. Okay, noted. Apologies for anyone who was offended. So I just so I just want to note this that Although as a verb to... Oh my god, oh my god, what are we start? You fall into the atmosphere, burn up, and then the game starts. Mass Effect Genesis is an interactive comic that summarises Mass Effect 1. Would you like to? No, we're not going to summarise it. We're here to get our story on. So, Ollie, <laughs> I'm dead. I am dead, Wait. by the way. Yeah, I was literally trying to trigger you to do that. So, we are we have been dead for a few days, Commander a few Shepherd years. Has been recovered. The Lazarus yes. Project. The Lazarus Project. <laughs> this is like the not beginning of Skyfall. So, so. It is a bit. Not st yeah. Oh my god! Look at my skeleton. More machine now than man. Oh my god! Commander Shepard just survived worse than Anakin. Yeah. Does that make? Does that grant him the rank of master? Now hear me out. If you give me one pardon, I'll let you kill him. Will you allow me to publicly marry Senator Amidala and carry a child to term? Oddly that sounds like an oddly specific <laughs> request, but sure. Okay, here we go. Warm Ollie liquid win. goo face. Ollie, can... look, Ollie, look at his goddamn face. <laughs> <laughs> look at that face. See, he looks like a villain. Why did we make him look like a villain? Let's go with a custom appearance. <laughs> oh god. They cloned William Fake. <laughs> <laughs> now this one looks like he looks like he's been in the gym to but go to the gym every so often. This one look this one ugh. Oh my god! <laughs> Uh, let's not. Yeah, let's not. I do not want to make comparisons to him burning up on impact. Looks a bit like Pound Shop Daniel Craig. 
<laughs> oh, is that what? Is that just? Is that the British version of Wish? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay I think the pro part of the problem. We've got Wish.com, Patrick Stewart here. <laughs> okay, so I think the part of the problem is the eyes. Let's see if we can change something that's a little less intimidating. Yeah. And maybe not you know red. What? Yeah. Let's let's change his let's change his eye cut his eye color. I don't know, those baby blues are a bit too blue. A bit too intense. <laughs> okay, what do we think? That... <sighs> the problem is, if we go with blue, he looks really too intense. If he goes with anything darker, it looks worse. Hey, that'll do. Okay, that'll work. He'll look like he's got he's stolen one of Marilyn Manson's eyes. Huh. Let's give him some... Should we give him hair? Should we give him hair? Why not? New life. <laughs> New life? I've just burned up. I have the right... And I've just had my head, my hair cut. I kind of am feeling envy right now. Yeah. Let's give, him... Let's give him... Let's give him... Now, should we give him a beard? I mean... Look, Ollie... Hey, look, Ollie, it's Triple H. It <laughs> I am the gamer. <laughs> Attitude on a tramp is a wife. -er. Whoa, let's not... Uh... No, that oh. was a rock promo. Oh, yeah, so... <laughs> it was a rock promo. You know, like he used to go on about the ro about Kane's big red nipples. Oh, yeah. Okay, we could give him the douchebag goatee. No, let's not give him the douchebag goatee. Okay, so... We've got the, I've seen some shit, son. That'll do. Okay. <laughs> I hair color. Okay, so hair color. We could have him be a wee bit grey. We could have him <laughs> as your average. Um, we could have him as your average Tumblr enthusiast. Really? Or... We could just have it that I bought too much hair dye and I really just... Yeah. Need to use it up. That's a bit dark. Yeah. Right. What do you reckon, Seth? Let's uh, get some audience participation. Yeah, let, 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 here. Let's ask the audience. LGBT Jack Shepherd says so. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but LGBT Chip Hazard is kind of still a thing, <laughs> and the the difference. <laughs> and also, this guy can't handle the rodeo burger. <laughs> He does Ollie get that, or is that does Ollie get that, or is that just something that only means Seb Seb no? Uh, I I it sounds familiar, but you get, might have to. Remind. Okay, so do you remember the movie Small Soldiers? I vaguely. Okay, well there was this Burger King advert where they put him on, they put Chip Hazard on trial <laughs> for eating Burger King burger called the Rodeo Burger, and they carry him out. After finding him guilty, and he goes, "You can't handle the rodeo burger." In a whole, you can't handle the truth from a few good men. <laughs> you can. Okay, Ollie. So, uh, so what does Seb say? Uh, so. No. Seb, what color are we having his hair? You, you have the. I'll, I'll go through the all the options. I mean, we could go with the, the whole. You go with the, you know, a bit grey. Maybe Seb says pink. Oh, okay. Let's see what I can do. There we go. This, this is the closest to pink I'm gonna get. No, there was one before that that was. Uh... Oh. Hold on. Which one's gonna make him look like the woman from the meme? <laughs> no, he needs thick glasses for that. Okay. Facial hair color. Oh boy, we're real. Oh god. It should match. Okay, we've got a pink beard. We have a proper pink beard and eyebrows. Okay, I, I think you can get the hair that shade. I'm sure I saw it. There, there we go. There we go. Okay, now he looks like he's trying too hard. <laughs> okay, so okay, so does he pink look intimidating beard. anymore? No, I imagine not. 
Okay. I guess. I guess. Okay. So we're gonna go with this. So let's see. We're gonna go with soldier still. Well, he had like black and pink armor on in the last one, so. I'm being reminded of one of Yahtzee's crea created characters, funnily enough. Alright. Yahtzee did, said that he what he hated the whole thing of going through through MMOs where you get the armor that doesn't look that you know you make a character a certain way, but then the armor doesn't make you look right. But then he found an MMO where you could have the color any way you wanted, so he created a character called Gareth Gobblecock that was <laughs> all pink. <laughs> what? <laughs> this was how he dealt with it. Okay. So let's be okay. Jokes aside, now the joking of creating his face, and we got from he's transitioned from crappy Picard to this. We will decide what he, what this per character is as time goes by. He's waking up. Oh, do you think I'm waking up? Did the movement give it away? He's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to. Did I fall in Brisbane? Still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Steps Pink the beard, the newest it's not working. Another dog. Now. Heart rate dropping. Death falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimate. Now, this is Miranda. Liz doesn't like Miranda. Gosh, you didn't actually discuss the towel all the time. Oh god, look at him, Ollie. Ollie, just remember, everyone is going to have to react, you know, in a generic scripted way, despite how crappy my fa how ridiculous my hair looks. Yeah. Look at him, he's like, wait, when did I have a beard? Huh, when did I have a beard? I wonder if the carpet matches the drapes. Perhaps that's why he chose to fall to the floor. Grab a pistol from the lock. Okay, Ollie. Yeah. The armor thing. The armor thing works differently this time round. So, okay. For some reason. Okay. 190 Paragon. Someone's hacking security, trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Oh yeah, we now use clips now. I'm going to just, look, I've just woke up. I've got a bit of stress in my body, okay? I haven't moved in so long and my bladder's full. Shepard, security makes a closing I haven't peed in two up. or three years. <clears throat> Pink pews. <pubes>. Uh. <clears throat> I think we assume that in this case the carpet doesn't be match the place. Don't try and kill me, robots. The odds do not favor you. Ah. Oh. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Wow. Someone's having a shittier day than me. Ooh. A grenade launcher. And look, unlike Resident Evil, this one wasn't made obsolete in the si in the 1960s. Take the elevator down one huh. floor. Sorry, I kind of want my pistol. Want my pistol. Hurry, get to the door. Run. Yes, because running through fire means it won't hurt me. Oh, we're learning a lot. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I just. Uh. Ooh, credits. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've got more. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. I'm not, I mean, we're not looking bad for someone who literally burned up in the atmosphere. Several years ago. Oh! You know, I'm glad these things just will not bother me. 
Like they can see me clearly through the window. What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. Okay, there we go. I haven't peed in two years. Whole time. Welcome back to your life. That's... I'm having some trouble wrapping my head around this. Yeah, I can imagine. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. <laughs> I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. What you're telling me is anyone who was actually a character you is alive. What are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check! Check! Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Oh. Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave well, of mechs son. over at D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. Service tunnels I thought he way. answered to Wilson. I guess he has schizophrenia or something. Log update. The Lazarus Project is about to enter the final phase. It's taken nearly two years. Wilson, remember? Commander Shepard is alive. Wilson! My name's Boyd, dumbass. Damn it, Wilson. This room's crawling with mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. I'm a top hunter, not a forklift. Critical system damage. Wilson, we'll we'll find error. us another route out of here. Preferably one that. Oh God! They found me. Help! Wilson, where are you? Server room B. Hurry! They're out of control. Shepard, down here. Oh, there it is. No, wait, no. Making sure there's nothing else to grab. Oh, there he is. Bastards got me in the leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. 
Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Hey, Wilson's alive. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs. But whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? You're awfully defensive. You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Wilson, Jack, Shepard, Presley, LGBT chip hazard. These are all characters famous for dying. Why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, Good maybe she's not I a traitor. Okay, does this guy, se this guy seems a bit defensive. She's not. In like, in a really suspicious way. The shuttle yeah. bay is only a few. Oh shit. That's it. Get out of here. Okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Jacob seems all Once right. Once the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. The fact that he's called the elusive man is worrying. I don't care what they did or what you say. I'm not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss, but after we've saved up. Trust me, it's not as tedious as it looks. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass. I'm not taking responsibility for all this. No, I mean, you could moon him. Through here. We're almost at the 
Miranda, but you were... <laughs> Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. If you say so. What's our next step? Turns out I'm not the only one with some God. sass this My morning. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? Oh, I, I get to speak to a service. manager. Ah, huh. uh, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? I've had enough this of this station to make last a Or two, <laughs> in your case. Come on. Fucking sassy bitch. So, I mean, if you listen to the show at two, you'll hear me talk to Les Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did you hear about the Les Dennis stories on Twitter? No. Before you meet with the oh, it was men, hilarious. We need to ask a few okay. questions to evaluate. Okay, so this is going to be where they, I think, where they go tests. over some of the things took down those to affect the past. Truck. So basically, my decisions can affect what happened. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? <coughs> I've been gone that long. Two years and twelve days, and you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid, raised mostly on one ship or another. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. I said here, just so we can see the elusive man. <laughs> Yeah. I want Seb's reaction to how he looks. Well, the viewer just dropped to two, so he might not actually be here right yeah. now. The elusive man is waiting oh yeah, I can the change my arm. The armor thing now isn't an equipment thing. Oh, right. Like, so, I can actually, like, well, I can actually change it now, so... So it's, cos it's just cosmetic. Uh, he didn't have to put it in a voice like that, but yes. Okay, I'm, I'm have... not capable of saying it's just cosmetic any other way. Yes, you are. You just choose not to. Uh, oh, shit. No, I is can't. It's a serious buy... condition. We have... Is this the one where we have to buy stuff like the... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll choose the helmet thing. Casual appearance. <laughs> Look, Ollie. I can do, do a space bomb. <laughs> space bomb. <laughs> Look, I've even got a hoodie. <coughs> or I can be, you know. Well, I think um, I'll go with this. It is in my, it is my Mass Effect headcanon that Chris McVitie's was present in one of those ships that saved the Citadel. <laughs> in the first one. Okay, I'll be ready to meet the elusive man. But he's so elusive. You can get, you can get Dragon Age armor in this game, by the way. Ah, cool. Well, it's actually just art. It's just like a, a medieval-inspired like spacesuit thing with the 
helmet and stuff. I've only played one Dragon Age game. Okay, Ollie, here he is. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat. Are you getting Willem Dafoe vibes from this? The Reapers. Yeah. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. That arms are killing me. Oh. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. So that was the elusive man. Yeah. Thoughts? He doesn't sound like Willem Dafoe. And he looks like it, the right? Man is very yeah. impressed with you. Looks like an I'm evil to Willem Dafoe. He can live up to his expectations on this mission. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope you were there. A lot of people Didn't lost people throw a major station. wobbler because there are less shots of Miranda's ass together, in this you. version or something? Your attitude isn't helping anything. Uh, something to do with the... Shipping. There was something to do with the it's camera angles, I believe, yes. I believe oh, what right. Cerberus stands Personally, I'm a tally guy, so I can't say I noticed. To be an asset or a liability to our cause. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? 
I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Can you jerk a guy off with your biotics? I was trying to get to know you as a human okay, being. Okay, viewers have dropped to one. Have you still got it up? Stay focused on Yeah, I've still got it up. Hold on. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm still up. Yeah. Looks like Anne Robinson. Pink beard the pirate. Hold on, it's saying it's tempting to reconnect. Hold on. Ah, uh, that explains it. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? Ma, 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 I don't <coughs> level up experience game. Shepherd attacks, import bonuses. The you've received the following bonuses for importing a level 49 character. 1000 experience points, so a start at level 2, credits, element 0, iridium, 190 paragon, and 106 renegade. I got a grenade launcher and some credits. Credits? Credits will do fine. Credits will do fine. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. I agree. We will be getting a lot of team members in this game, by the way. Yeah. A lot more than what we had before. Yeah. Okay, I should probably level up the characters, so... Let's go with Combat Mastery. And an adrenal and the adrenaline rush. Uh, wait, I can't do anything. Go to Miranda, Cerberus officer. Weapons. Cerberus has provided additional weapons. I'm going in with my assaulty. Go with oh, your shooty. heavy. Okay, you get your shotgun. I'm going to get my assault Perfect. rifle. Done. Now, remember. Shoot first, ask questions later. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Dinner. Ooh, leftovers. <laughs> Ooh, a peanut. Dinner. That's a dated reference. The old YouTube poops. It is. Classic times. Strange. Hey, if Nobody's there was any positive towards the Zelda CDI it's games, bad. that's it. It's that it spawned the YouTube poops of the Zelda CDI games. The birth of the YouTube poops in general, and without that, well, we wouldn't have gotten the train killer or that Robin Hood one. Oh, that was good. Incoming! I should check Easy those channels out. Maybe they've done something new. Here we go. Shoot them before they take Robot out. Robot dogs. Get over here. Collision proximity. Over here. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. There's just something funny about. There's just something funny about shooting. Are you lifting them in midair and then shooting them? They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprograms them to attack on site. We're not alone here. While you're engaging in combat, I'm gonna go and uh, make coffee. Uh, <laughs> time for a delicious coffee. Or well, give a more precisely, give a mug a rinse out so I can put it in my Tazamo machine and have it make coffee for me. 
Understand. <laughs> we have a Tassimo as well. They're pretty good, aren't they? <laughs> oh, God, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're expensive as fuck to get the things for, but, you know. Yeah. I'm running low on milk pods, and they're the only ones that aren't sold by my local corner shops, so... <laughs> okay. Well, you go do that, because we're going to have... We are going to run into an old teammate on this one. On this oh, one. Okay. I see you, Shepard. Oh, shit, quarians. Stop right there. Fraza, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait. Tolly. Shepard? I'm not taking How does she recognize me with a pink beard? Put those weapons down. Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Oh, Peter is the only one who can tell us what happened here. Yeah, we should just told together. you, and notice that her suit's a little yeah. different. You'll need two teams yeah. to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza, you're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the yes, center right. of the Yeah, she's, got, she's also, you Look might have been able to tell she's gained some status. And draw off some of the yeah. drones to clear you a path. A lot can happen in Your people years. really don't like Cerberus. What did I, I miss? Crisps, they killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, yeah. and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. <coughs> oh, my sweet, sweet Tali. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. I see him. We'll they literally... But I couldn't kill them because, you know, plot shit. We've been spotted. This is the most we are the occasion. Let's not bicker and argue about who killed who. He punt kick punted the bridesmaid. The death of a father. He's okay. Use but the more actually wounding of a father. Getting better. Oh, he's dead now! Boom, get off my house. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. Okay. Sometimes you get an interview with tomorrow morning. Excellent. 
to veto first. It's Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Moving to cover. Oh. Shit. It's a big boy. Ooh. Oh god, that's not nice. Oh shit. Their missile tow was no match for their tow missile. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. Well, they are light armor this people. They're kind of like space elves. Down. Don't worry. My grandpa used to have a saying when it came to when it came to bigger enemies. Get a big fucking gun and let God sort them out. Try to overload their shield. Right. Oh, have I? I found the old Kiora advert, although I'm pretty sure it's now affected by stage standards. Oh, yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Oh, the thing is... Oh! Oh! Okay, that was easier than I think to remember. Just the stuff. Okay, that was easier than I remember it being. You put up a brave fight, giant robot. That's I shall now scan you. Ooh. Oh, that is how we honor our dead. By scanning them. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No one's watched too many Bray no, no, Wyatt no, no. promos. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters There is coming. no Vitor. There is no, only Zim. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. A paragon action. You're human. Why did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Collector. That's some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega 4 relay. Yeah, it's actually technically what they do, yes. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. Oh, joints, how dare you betray me! The Seekers... Palmer's really not doing good no to you. What did you do? The Seekers find you. Uh, I went too hard you. at the gym. Then the monsters oh, I was... take you away. No, but seriously, you've had... You've been things haven't been going well for you lately. What did you do? Who did you piss? And what Why have you done to piss you? Karma off? Swarms didn't find me. I haven't Monsters done anything to piss Karma off. The collectors oh. aren't known for being careless. Maybe his enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed <laughs> to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more <laughs> about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. 
find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. It's weird how... I want to know more about the collectors. We toys can see everything. Nobody knows much. It's weird how They're few so rare, clips of, of Boba Fett are in the book of Boba Fett. More importantly, yeah. why are they abducting He's barely in comics? his own show. What are they after? <coughs> Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the uh, here's the thing. Overstate Dark energy was up. meant to be important to the plot. However, the new writers decided it wasn't Before and removed it. Injured, right. So this game is the only. This is the only heard. game where you're going to hear about it. If he knows anything else, he'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was so it's like Harmon. And his men paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> you're welcome to take Vitor's Omni tool data, but please, just let me take him. Oh, we got a minute left on the share play. Yeah, well, I'm gonna fix it. Though. Though. We're at the end anyway. We work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. Unzipped pants. What about now? He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. But even Good if I gave him to her, if I, find the, anything I didn't. Help, I took him I'll let you know. to Cerberus. All it really does is up. give you some renegade. Yeah. You still get the same result. Because he's not useful to to them at all. Renegade he's sounds like a soft drink. What? Renegade sounds like a soft drink. Shepard, <laughs> good work on free. Okay, here we go. Oh. <laughs> the Corians oh, forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. Oh, hold on. No new data. Yeah, please I, do. I, I don't seem able to pause it. Oh, there just, we go. Just, doesn't matter, just add me to the thing. <laughs> don't okay. worry about it. You want to right, visit a place? Here we go. <laughs> you and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Well, that's my hour done, I suppose. Liz, do you want to take over? You see, okay, let me just end this, having friends paid off. Do you ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more important... That sounds like a you, you problem. The collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens. I have Usually my coffee in and my League of Gentlemen mug. When their transactions are complete, <laughs> they disappear as quickly as they arrive. Diplomacy works. It's Omega okay when it relay. works. Like... Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. What I'm aren't you telling involved. me? Pretty much everything. I will continue to make withhold. I will continue to withhold information. With Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. 
If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists... Oh my god, Ollie, we're putting together a heist. On the best of you Finding son of a bitch, I mean. Convincing them to work that is literally what this is, Ollie. This is literally going around to do missions to find people. Get them to join your party in it being a whole son of a bitch, I'm in. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Ashley? Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay, okay the Shadow Broker DLC available. is a thing, so that'll be a thing we do for You'll later. Who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Yeah. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. I think going to Omega first Good. is a smart choice. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and we find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know You know what? Let's do that because we'll also get Kasumi. We, we do, we, the DLC characters just join you. You can do their loyalty if you so want, but I think we should grab Kasumi and Zaid right away. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Seth Green? Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't Except I now have hair. Look who's talking. And a beard. I saw you yeah. get spaced. Got lucky. With a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. Ollie. Look at it. <laughs> Oh god, yes! The SR2! Colors. Ugly colors aside, the SR2! With the engines that are like... <laughs> well, yeah, whereas the SR1's engines are more... It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. <laughs> I call it the Cum Guzzler 4000. <laughs> the Hyperion Wank Sock. <laughs> what was it with it? What was it? The Ejaculate? What was it? What was it? <laughs> we, the Bolakians, face extinction at the hands of the Ejaculons of Toss. They've already eliminated the three moons of Winky, and now Jizz is threatened. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that never got a DVD release at all is a crime. Yeah. I mean, just Brian Blessed, just Brian Blessed being a train pirate was in her. Yeah. Okay, heavy weapon ammo. <laughs> so, oh yeah, so yeah, we're now we've now got a new Normandy, and I will be perfectly honest, I prefer this one to the original one. You'll probably see why. Look how fucking casual I look. I mean, fundamentally, it's similar enough that you won't get lost, but navigating it is a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Also, we've got to talk to the cook here before we go to Omega. Get... I know. I know, but listen, 
Mass Effect 1 is your jam. This is my chocolate spread. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. And Mass Effect 3 are those pickles that nobody really seems to want on their burger. Just gone down to 1 again. Can you check to see if you've still got the thing? We know the collectors use some type of we'll do. We'll do. Immobilize their victims. We'll I am sorry to keep nagging you about that. It's okay. It, it, it's okay. It disconnected me and then it, now it's got me back on again. The collectors use some... Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Oh, I love Joker and Edie. They've got Elves this weird sexual chemistry. Takes control of a ship away from them, especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Uh. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic Oh yeah, technically Edie is illegal sleeps. to exist. Beyond that, I do not interface with the ship's she, is she is a literal AI. Analysis and advice. Nothing However, more. she shackles to the computer to the ship so that she can't really like go rogue. Right. Now that we've got Although that in the third that, game she does get a robot games. body. Final Joker final loves that. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Okay, Liz, I can see. I can feel the... I can feel the elbow in the ribs. I've had my fun, but you had an entire game. Also, I check the research thing as well. And don't forget to probe your... And don't forget to probe your anus. I'm going to probe your anus. Well, that's going to put a damper on Women's Liberation Day. Oh, he just mm -hmm. that it. Oh, I'm the naggy vaccine. I don't hear a click. I expected to hear a click. Because she's stretched. My jaw doesn't click. Not your, not your jaw, your shoulders or something. Ah, Kasumi Goto. Ah, Joker. Oh god, yeah, we can do the DLC. I've warned Ollie about the... about the Operation Overlord, Overload DLC. I just felt that with what happens at the end, it's best he knows what's going on. <sighs> our briefing room, I will say our briefing room is a fuck ton better than what we got in the original. Yeah. I mean, I like the whole standing in a room with just ex that exists solely to show me a fucking hologram. But this one has a table. And a functioning lift. Three quarters. Oh yeah, that's the thing I love about this, is the fact that the thing will actually tell you who's on what floor. Although I will never get over Edie's, Edie's whole, I like seeing a human on their knees. That was a joke. Ah, oh, come on, you laggy bastard. Really? Okay, let's Just talk to the chef. Again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel, you did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? You have everything you need. I yeah, make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. 
What do you need? Well, you if I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those namby pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I think you have a shade too light on the beard. I won't take any more of your beard. Time. Back to work. <laughs> oh, look, it's Ollie's character. If Ollie wants him to look ridiculous, then Ollie will get him ridiculous. Hey, we might be able to customize the armor to be all pink as well. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's a, the pink hair and beard was Seb's choice, to be fair. The gunnery oh, 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 now, oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Blame the guy who can't speak for himself. No, we yes, literally was... asked him what colour make the hair. <gasps> and um, I literally said, yeah, that's kind of... Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, it's a doctor. I don't think Ollie will remember her. I, didn't really I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. Yeah. It's good to see you alive. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I oh, and you might have noticed scars on the face. Oh, yeah. They all disappear kind of as the game goes on. And if we do Paragon stuff, or we can just but spend materials you, to I fix see. my face. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Right, so bottle we've got Omega. Well, we could, well, we've got to go to the Citadel and Omega anyway. We also have to, at least in this stream, we have to get to the thing where they have to re recommission you as being alive. That happens the first time you go to the set down. I know, that's why we have to do it, because I just find it funny going, well, here's the problem. It says you've been dead for a, for a few years. Is there any way we can fix this? Well, oh, we can't forget our, my favourite Scott. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Carry on. <coughs> well do, Commander. Uh, what you're saying is they I'm built the ship, but, 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 you know, cheaped out on some of its stuff. What a bunch of twats. Ah, my wee tongue. Pilgrim? What? Seb just commented Pilgrim. Okay. I'm not going to ask the context of that. Oh, your favourite Scott, he says. Oh. I saw Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Still a good film. I fucking hated Scott Pilgrim. Oh yeah, I think that's I think that's the point. Yeah, it is. Especially it's very when much you, the point. Especially but... when you consider that. Especially when you consider that the alternative ending, like the thing is that you know the actual en alternative ending, at least in the comics, was that the relationship never worked anyway. Right. Because the entire point Scott never got was that Ramona was toxic. 
That was the point. She was toxic, and that's why all of her relationships failed, because she she was part of the problem. She I did mean, exactly to stop I don't think you can exclusively blame her when every ex she's ever had has tried to kill her, like her boyfriend. Well, it's not just that, but a lot of the problems from the relationships, at least in the comics, was that she literally used them for a bit and then just left them as soon as she was bored. She did the ex she does the exact thing to Scott. The problem is that Scott has his problems as well. If a character was flawless from the start, it'd be boring. Well, yeah, but he's boring from the start and also an ass. Like, well, it doesn't like, help. I actually really like how they leverage that at the end with the Mega Scott thing, and it's just like, apparently in the comics, the thing he is Michael Cera's Yeah, that's true. In the comics, the thing was that he had to accept that Mega Mega Scott was part of him, and that was how he was. Oh, so they could afford the entire thing. Yeah, basically that. But in the movie, it's just like Scott's such a milk toast asshole that there's like you can't really have a problem with his dark side. I mean, there's also that there's also the problem so much that it only comes right at the end. Yeah, and also like, where's Mega Scott supposed to live? Well, the thing is that it ends in one of two... Scott Pilgrim ends in one of two ways. Either they both realise that they're both toxic oh, sorry, individuals... sorry, Sam. Um, then... My headphone cable just came out. I cannot hear you. It's tangled on some shit. Hold on. Why is there shit? I'm not going to ask why there's shit in your room, but okay. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, the fuel depots. Forgot all about that shit. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, I can hear now. Okay, sorry. Always just remembered that we've got the fuel depots to de deal with as well. Uh. Basically, you spend credits to get fuel so you can go through the parts of space that, you know, take up a bit of fuel. That's really all it is. If you run out, it just starts using your resources. But yeah, there's like two endings for, I can't remember if it was the comics or something, but it's either Ramona and Scott realise they're both terrible people and just make the best of the relationship because that's all they can really do. Or she just move, she moves on and does what she's always done and Scott has to basically grow up a little bit and just better himself. Or at least that's the implication. I don't know, I know there's audiences who prefer the comics and there's those who just prefer the movies. Ah, <sighs> okay, the Citadel's not as big to explore as it once was. Yeah, so I've never read the comics, so I'm just going by the movie. I've never read them either, but, but anyway, the game. Oh, the Scott Speaking Pilgrim of, video. Speaking of... Oh yeah, they did re-release that. Although when you realise that how hard they had to work on that and how it had to get be outsourced so many times, it's a miracle it ended up the way it did. I still have that on my PS3. Good because I know they re-released it on the PS4 and the Switch, and they actually did, like removed it from the PlayStation Store originally. Yeah. Which sucks. Yeah, well, licensing shit that nobody likes, yeah, it's but why I don't, it's it, everyone's look, problem. I, I've already gone through my whole why I don't like digital distribution. Yeah, Nobody likes okay, it, so but it's everyone's problem. <laughs> That's the same reason we don't get dubbed now. Dragon Ball Super on Funimation. Well, you know what oh. they say. If you can't access it, you probably shouldn't have it. Where's my pirate the password and receive a free gift. <laughs> Yo ho of hoy and a vat. Tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm She's shocked a dog, come to see so no. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. Apparently the word Cerberus is derived from the Greek word for spotted, which would imply... Yes, I, yes, I, am, I am aware. I watched, 
I, I have watched the watch call of it. I also needed to make sure all Overly this sarcastic productions. And I have no doubts now. You're the real it's great channel, that. It is. I've watched it, you're not special! <laughs> what makes you so sure? There's a certain aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you look like, I knew it was you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. If we are very lucky. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. <laughs> well, we wouldn't want him to look silly. Well, t that's true. <laughs> this is the so yeah. This is the D one of the DLC characters. Ah, uh. that's Kasumi. Usually, to get people to join you, you have to do a mission with them first, and then they'll join you. So is that yeah? You said that's basically the crux of the game is recruiting people for the final mission. Yeah, basically, it, it's broken into a. The first half is getting the ones that are lit up that you can see right now on the screen are the characters you can are the slots that can be filled by certain characters. Yes. The ones greyed out will appear after a story event has happened. Right. Ooh. I know, I know, it's not... Can we get Keith David? Grey. Keith is still working on the Citadel. Because if you remember, we left him... We left him there to, like, be counsellor for humans. Yes. Which I think was a smart move. It was a great business move. Everyone is saying it. <laughs> yeah. It's a great move. A really good move. Everyone is saying it. <laughs> but, this yeah. Is a kilo I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. And I like my biotic amps. Figured they say something about our weapons. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... dead. <laughs> I was years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? Sorry, I don't think that's funny. Yeah. He's just past the scanners on your right. Yeah, get ready for a lot of... Huh. Well, this is the problem. You're dead. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that is basically the crux of the joke here for a lot of the things. You'll have to make him scream Especially now, not... when we talk to Captain yes, Bailey. I no relation to already, that Shepard. Bailey. My console says you're dead. Are you not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. Huh. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it... <laughs> You're not I just love that. Enemies, are you? Well, yeah. you'd have to do I'm this, right but until they keep people from doing you're clearly in a hurry, so how about I just press this button and just there. skip I all the bureaucratic bullshit? Seb says, look that at his said, pink you goatee. should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. 
The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. <laughs> Did you see the Mandalorian yet? Thankfully, I'll have time for the job. I haven't yet, no. I'll watch it after we wrap up here. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakarowart. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Don't forget to do your... What? Uh, as I said, don't forget to get your sponsorship meme. Sponsorship meme? Fine. Oh, you'll I, see. I Basically, you can get some Paragon options if you talk to people in certain stores. You can get them to. You can endorse their shops as a sponsor. <laughs> just by by having a thing. So every time you walk into the shop, you record a thing. You go, "I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel." This became a meme. Yeah. <laughs> Good day, my friends. This, for example. Welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness, I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah? You are Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. I always get the models when I can. It's fine. Have, having a hobby is not a crime. Oh, wait, it is. Come on, please. <laughs> you have to help me. I need to make something nice. It's for a date. I also, uh, I also led the defense of Earth while being a talking action figure who promotes LGBT rights and handles the promotional burkas. Sorry, honey, man. <laughs> Taster of the royal wine and plague czar. Yeah. It is a better experience when you've got comments to play off as well, though, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Yeah. I mean, I won't say why else do it. Um, because the reason it's I was doing it was to hang out and have an archive. The, <laughs> the episode of The Mandalorian doesn't have a title. Well, it's only just debuted. It's got to Welcome pay its to dues Sauron's first. Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! You don't just get a title well, the minute you walk in no, the door. No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human this who isn't fought off the This isn't TNA you in the early dead. 2000s. Yeah, I've been that, <laughs> that was the uh, Please, joke I was driving at. You picked up what I was putting here. down. <laughs> that is kind of how our dynamic works, yes. <laughs> you know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point and go nab interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. You whore! That will be splendid. I can yes, that and have it working Ollie. Right away. Yes, that Thank is entirely so it. <laughs> Discount. And not, Discount, bitch. And not the wholesome kind of corporate whore. Oh, like you I'll know the it. difference. I read somewhere once that the actual dictionary definition of the word whore. well I don't know about dictionary but the actual <laughs> definition of that day, word citizen. was Welcome someone who the compromised their principles for money award. I don't I know how true that is but 
They it seem would a make bit sense. Steep. With respect, the foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know what would make your services more popular? <laughs> An endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah. What? This is funny. You are You're just going to every Do you see why it's a meme? Do yeah. you get why it's a fucking meme yeah. now? Yeah. It's a deal. Uh. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank is there you. any consequence for doing that with all of them? No. No, <laughs> why would there be? Yeah. Uh, actually, um, you played Yakuza Like a Dragon, of course. Uh, one of my favourite things about that is there is a dating mechanic, but there is actually a sub-quest and consequences for doing all of them. Because they all find out that you've been cheating on them with everyone else and then beat you up. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. They did that in Persona Five. <laughs> like in Persona Five, you can in Persona Four you could start dating people, but in Persona Three and Four, there's not really a consequence other than you just getting tired out. In Persona Five, if you date it's more than hate. one of the girls, you spend Valentine's Day with the girl with one of the girls you choose to be with, and then the next day you get called by the guy you live with to say, "What did you do?" And then every other girl you're dating turns up, and I want her gives you your chocolate while angry, and then beats the fuck out of you, and leaves you unconscious on the floor. I mean, they'll still come and do missions with you. Oh, Ollie, Keith fucking David. Keith David! This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. Speak of it's the devil. Time, oh, and he shall appear. The last couple of years have treated you, right? There have been oh my problems. god, it's Commander Shepard. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your Holy unexpected ships. return. Some of them are... That sounds unsettling. like it's implying we something else, Ashley. So you could explain your actions, Shepard. We mm. owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard. Are you fucking no serious? One the yeah, I told you I told to remember you that last scene, Reapers. didn't I? Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth Does the word of Crisps McVitie's count for nothing? Apparently not. How dare. <laughs> Saren was an organic. Uh, the Geth never accept him as their leader. Ollie. They only followed Failed. him because he was Sovereign's agent. <laughs> Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his you plan. Gaslighting to fox. The Reapers are just a Yeah, myth. welcome you to my world, Molly. It sucks, doesn't it? We yeah. believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. I kept oh, Saren you from bitch. conquering the Citadel. Well, you can remember it that way, and I will I'll counsel. remember it how it happened. Fuck you! We're in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. Yeah, but seriously, can you believe this shit? Yeah. He is once again a member of Spectre. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. <laughs> Even if Keith they don't David help, they might as well stay on good terms. True enough. 
David knows Don't his shit. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Counselor, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? <laughs> okay, that was a good one. The Council line. reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Dina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. He's literally giving the political Sorry. go to your room and think about what you Udina's did, Udina's never man. gotten over the fact that <laughs> I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Udina's <laughs> just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. Of the last I love you, Pete free. David. Serving on the council is how can you I not love this man? <laughs> Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against the wall. <laughs> not the term the political shitstorm means anything stuff. to you. <laughs> I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. Yeah, so don't I expect to see these happens. guys again for the rest so of the game. Trying. By the way, this is just a formal Fighting thing. The good fight, right? Sadly, we're basically done with them after we, we're done with this. Right. Now, this is just to remind people that Shepard, you know, the people important that Shepard is alive. Still counting. Yeah. The main areas of commerce. But yeah, Udina is still a dick. Complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days. They've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. Kind of what they, the keepers I'm are for. No one can tell Sovereign They're there to make your life so convenient that you don't wreckage? question it. We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last the I knew Sovereign? Was the well, here I'm surprised we didn't make a David but Bowie or Venture Brothers joke with that. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave, and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Odina and the council. Join my crew and help me stop the collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. <laughs> That's got to, to be... Quote, to quote Saints Row the third, Keith motherfucking David! <laughs> I better go. It's I'm even funny when you realize he played Chaos in the in Dissidia. But if yeah. you want to talk, I'll be here. Playing the voice clips for Liz, it just made things really weird because she only knows him as Captain Anderson. Yeah. I so said, think about it. If he, if he was the god of Discord in this, it, you know, the war with the Reapers would have gone a lot smoother. <laughs> god of Discord. That's what Chaos was, at least in Dissidia, although. Yeah.
reading through the files you get in the game, he's not actually the real Chaos. He's just... Was the story of Dissidia and T any good? Because I never played that one. No, it's not. No. no. Basically, oh, it, continu it continues on... Okay, so do you remember that at the end of Dissidia, of the other Dissidias, they kept bringing Shinryu up in some capacity? I think so, vaguely. Basically, shit. Basically, the way they put it is the world of Dissidia was created by the Lutherians from Re from the first the first Final Fantasy game, and Cosmo Chaos and Cosmos were just avatars. They weren't the actual versions; they were just imitations of the of the of them. But then, when they died, K Materia and some other guy turned up, and they tried to just restart the war again. So what they end up doing is that it turns out Shinryu feeds off the fighting that, they, that they've been doing in the Dissidia games. That's what Duo Deeson was trying to do and that's why Tifa and Laguna were removed from the war. Because they knew too much. Yeah. That's a shame because I, lo I love the, the concept button. of Dissidia. Oh wait. Hold on. Hold on. I've just got to sort out the lighting in the room. Oh, Seb, if you're still there, you've got to um, watch us probe Uranus. Oh, God. I'm not in the right cluster oh, for gosh. doing that. Uh, oh. but, but what they end up doing is, once they learn what Shinryu is, and he feeds off the fighting, they basically have an epic fight similar to that intro scene from the original Dissidia yeah. in order to coax him out, and then you have to basically create your team to go beat him up. <laughs> the only funny part about it is we get to see Shan. Do you remember Shan Toto? Yeah. Well, the only thing from Final Fantasy XI anyone remembers. Her lines in the game are brilliant because she literally brings a fight to a standstill, having a debate with Ultimisha. So like, Kefka and everyone else are just like they're supposed to be fighting, but they're just watching them go back and forth with each other, over nothing. That actually sounds hilarious. It is hilarious because Kefka is Kefka. Though the story isn't that great, to be perfectly honest. I mean, it, it comes up on the PlayStation Short Store cheap, it's just not as fun to play as the original. Yeah. Sorry, the thing's well, about to die. I, I don't know why there's this obsession with three-on-three -three combat without even the option of making it a one-on-one -on -one affair. Like, sometimes it's really good, but I, I just don't get the, uh, I don't get the mandate. I don't get it either, Ollie. Yeah, like, I mean, no, Dragon Ball Fighters does it really well. But... It's fully charged. Alright then, you can unplug it then, if it's fully charged. Oh shit, I could stream the story of Dragon Ball... Like, I didn't stream the story of Dragon Ball Fighters because I didn't have a capture card at the time. It's just occurred to me that I could do that. <laughs> okay! But yeah, I have Dissidia NT. I think I picked it up for about six quid. Yeah, what are the with things... all the DLC. Yeah. Also, one of the things I wanted to uh, connect to capture cards my PlayStation Four was to stream Persona Five, and I still haven't. <laughs> you really should. We really should because we can't really do a franchise run of Persona though. That's the problem. Well, we could do three and four. Uh, well, I've already no, played... no, uh, no. Because technically, if we wanted to do a full franchise run, because Persona's technically a separate timeline. We'd have to basically play both Soul Hackers games, oh, find a way to play both play play both the original. I don't know why I said Oh God, games. like I knew that would be bad. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> yeah, the, the original two Devil Summoners, which were never released in the UK. Well, the first one was, but the second one wasn't. Yeah. Shin Megami Tensei If, which was never released outside of Japan. Persona yeah. 1, which the only workable version of that game is actually the PSP version. I mean, Persona, I... 2 Inno... Persona 2 Innocent Sin, which is available on the PlayStation th PlayStation Portable, but, you know, that's a problem. I kind of want to try Persona Dragon 2... Quest as well, because that looks pretty fun. Uh, Dragon Quest XI was fun. Yeah. I mean, if um, Yakuza Like a Dragon is... system is based on it, like, yeah... I don't know how true that claim is, or it was definitely influenced, but I really liked Yakuza Like a Dragon. <laughs> um, it's and... Yakuza is a turn-based RPG, and uh, with a class system, with a class system that they actually worked into a job center. And I, <laughs> yeah, I, I actually, actually love that. 
Like, to change your class, you go to the job centre. That's brilliant. Uh. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing a Persona, like Persona 3, 4 and 5 since it's now viable. Yeah, I could do that. I mean, we could do I mean, that I mean, after Mass Effect, right now, if you like. like an... but... Well, when, you, when we've got time to do it, obviously, because you've already got enough to commit to at this point. Yeah, I without don't you think... adding more. Yeah, I don't think I want more than three weekly streams. Though, kill... Ollie, I am, I am going to insist on this. Yeah. You have since you did go out of your way to get me three houses, and I am very grateful for that. By the way, yeah. I, I... Seriously, thank you. Seriously, I can't thank you guys enough for that. No, no, any time, mate. I know, but I know, but well, the controller was the actual depression gift, but you know that was like a birthday gift from you guys, and I really appreciate that. Yeah. But um... you have, to, but you should play it if only so. I don't have to be the only one that has to roll my eyes every time Ness pisses people off and goes, Edelgard did nothing wrong. Cuff Ness! Okay, I don't understand that reference. Maybe one day I will. Basically, short version. <laughs> don't tell me, because I don't want spoilers. Well, well, no. I'm not going to give you spoilers for a plot. I'm just going to tell you you get to pick plot, pick, you know, alignments in the game, and Edelgard is one of them. That's ah, all see. I'm going to say. I see. Okay, what's your problem now? You're getting a problem. And it's right in my ear. Okay, sorry about that. It's almost as if you were screaming oh, down my ear there for a minute. Now, if you were screaming down your ear, there would be blood. So, oh, sorry, when Sam gets enthusiastic, he can. Uh... Yes. Well, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I know. You know, she's married oh, to me, she knows she's. That's why I was telling him. Yeah. <laughs> Just so he can try and modulate a bit. Moderate, sweetheart. <laughs> oh. Probe away. Probe away, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Edie, do, you might notice Edie has emotions with things, so when we do Uranus, she actually does react to it and is very... Especially if you do 30 probes at once. <laughs> she gets a bit snarky at you, going, really, Shepard? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, Edie ha Edie. It's hard to remember that Edie has a personality until like later in the game. Like it's there. It's just it's just like oh shit. Oh, she we've has gone a up to four. So someone we don't actually know might be watching. Hello there. away. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy ho there! Hidely ho, Nakamarino! I've taken to saying that. Thank you, Weed. I noticed. <laughs> but yeah, even if we did a Persona run, I wouldn't be against us skipping one and two just. Well, the duology and one just because while they are in the same universe, and they have gone out of their way to say they're in the u same universe, they don't. Atlas are very, very, very insistent that they just don't want to touch the originals at all, or really associate with them. A lot of this is because the gameplay is very of its time and is a bit more closer, a lot closer to the original dungeon crawling of the original Perso Shin Megami Tensei. And also because once they got a new director in 3, it just went in a completely different direction. But they do reference each other from time to time. Well, Persona 4 especially makes references to 3. But they do it in the clever way. <laughs> now, I will insist that we don't play the spin-offs. Because only Strikers seems to be really worth doing. Dancing All Night. The Dancing All Night games are canon... But ah. I know how you feel about rhythm games. Oh, Jack's here. Hello, Jack. So what's this then? It's Mass Effect 2, is is what this is. <laughs> ah. How art thou? Thou art I. <laughs> and I'm getting resources out of the oh, way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Liz is getting resources. Sam gets a bit annoyed at this, so I. I don't get annoyed, I actually like probing shit. <laughs> I really bet you do. Oh, I don't judge your scatological fetish, you don't judge judge my amusements. <laughs> <laughs> Judgmental prick. 
launching probe. <laughs> Sorry, I, I've missed some of our banter. Yes, yes, indeed. Launching probe. Oh. Although I am making it, I'm going to try and make it my job at one point to make Liz watch the original, the Street Fighter movie as bad as it is, just to see how over the top I, some of it is. Well, you've got to see Raul Julia in that film. Like... In the last, especially, I've watched the documentaries the last few years to see, like, the last few interviews with him and to understand how much pain he was in while making them and the fact that when you really listen to him, he says that, that, that he literally agreed to it because it was going to be his last gift to his kids. And he stole that in, I mean, let's face it, Jean-Claude Van Damme and Kylie Minogue are shit in the movie. But Raul Julia, with his bison dollar... Every bison dollar will be worth five British five pounds. British pounds. For that is the exchange rate the Bank of England will set once I kidnap their queen. Yeah, see, he everything camp that he does, he gets one of the most vile characters in Street Fighter and makes him likable. I mean, let's not also forget the whole Chun Li giving out her life story. Don't forget the Chun Li giving out her life story of how she trained and everything to get revenge on Bison because he ruined her life and killed her family and destroyed her village. And he's just like, I'm sorry, I don't remember. What? Look, the day that I graced your village was the most important day of your life. For, but me, for me, it was Tuesday. It was Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo I love that. It's just he makes it so camp. No, I mean that was I an mean, the club's... that is an unironically great line oh. though. <laughs> it is. I mean, it, it, I mean, the closest they had was that terrible Street Fighter cartoon where the funniest thing Bison says is, "Oh, you people complaining about oh, I murdered your father. Big deal. I killed my father. You don't see me moaning about it." <laughs> And for some reason, they made Akuma British in the last few lines. For some reason, that reminds me, there was one good line in the original cut of the Justice League movie. I've still not seen the Snyder Cut. I probably don't know that I will at this point. But, um, Steppenwolf is killing people and someone goes, Please, I have a family! And he just goes, Why does everyone keep telling me that before killing him? <laughs> Thou art not saying that you would not be desiring to know. What? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't quite... Uh... Oh, um, he's saying you don't want to know. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, usual then. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sure he's doing fine. <laughs> oh, yes, Omega. There's oh. no Kennys on this one, though. The share play session will end in five minutes. Now, wow, um, we've done two hours already. Shit. Yeah. Seb's radio show is in less than an hour, so I'm wondering if it might be um, prudent. Yeah, prudent to call it here for this week. Come back next Wednesday, and I take, you know, well, have this be uh, the prologue episode. Docked, so that's I'll a take... good place to actually. Okay, either. fine. We'll dock. Okay, let us at least get Zaid. So Ollie can at least see our favourite Aussie. So no, I'm telling you, I like, don't believe you. Don't yeah, because you, uh. you have you have to because you have to see Zaid. Because I don't know why, but I feel like he's a reference that, that you might like. Uh, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to. Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just. Leave Fargot now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Oh, didn't that's his name. Just didn't say what you what think he said. Just oh, stop God, right sorry. Headphone Omega. thing come out. I get it trapped on that. You know who oh. I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the terminus. Sorry, what were you saying? Sir? I was you saying think. he didn't say what you All thought he said, so don't start. <laughs> I, I was, I was I momentarily taken aback. Now and present yourself. I thought he said a very bad word. I know you did. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, <laughs> now. They've got a point. I'm receiving quarantine warnings. Okay, the now there he is. There's Zaid. The I think I have also accessed messages between mercenaries. We'll, we'll plan that next time. Yeah. So There's do we um station at afterlife.
well, we'll just let the dialogue come off, and then... Right, we've got three minutes, that should be enough, let's get Zaid. That's a Batarian. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Oh, head for a crime. We have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. <laughs> My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please, I didn't do it. I said, oh. shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase. What's with the hair color? Uh, we made that. We asked Seb what color the hair should be. And Seb chose a fabulous color. <laughs> okay, so the world was going to happen to him. I'm going to turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. Okay, Django. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's well, that answers me. that, indeed. <laughs> so yeah, this is Zaid. Told you about our arrangement. No, I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago. He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfel Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. Scholar. <laughs> 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 I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some very smart Alec remarks when you take him on missions, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, damn, I bloody know it. Yeah. Alright, is that the logical stopping point? Yep. That is the logical <laughs> stopping point. Save. I was just going to save, but it's just kicked me out. So right, you so should save. Yeah, I'll, Ollie can actually I'll do make, something in this game for once. I'll make a save. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, there's nothing to see. Here. Okay. That'll be where we call it for this week. I think. That... Right. We've got a choice for next week. We can either go straight for Archangel, or we can go for Morden. I tend to do Morden first and then take him on the mission to get Archangel. It seems to... It, well, considering they're both on the same station, it just makes sense to do the missions together, so... Well, do them together, but I tend to do more than first and then go to get Garrus. And we've got Zaid with us, so there should be some funny dialogue. Yes. <laughs> well, Zaid does appear in the third game. He's not playable, but you can have, like, a party. And he turns up to that, and he's... Him and Garrus keep setting up explosives to... Or traps in order to kill intruders. <laughs> they get drunk and booby trap your uh, hot tub. Yeah. All right. Well, it's, um... only, it's, only, it's only funny when you realise that the thing will explode if anything showing your DNA comes in because it's supposed to kill a clone of you. And you mentioned that the clone will have the same DNA, and they didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> right. Well, that's about the two-hour mark. And uh, Seb's it got is. a show that I promised to listen it, to. Exactly, and I'd hate to step on Seb's toes, to be honest. Well, yeah. I'd like to for amusement, but, you know, yeah. I'm not a so, dick. So, uh, we'll call it there. We will work out a more consistent time for a streaming schedule, which is what I want to get down. Three streams a week at definite times. Uh, so that I can plan my life around this. <laughs> like, basically. Oh, you make it sound so horrible.
<laughs> no, it, it's just no, it's not. It's just there are other things I want to do. So having these, it's I get certain... it. <laughs> Look, so... I get it. I get, I get it. I'm not criticizing anything. Yeah. So um, thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, thanks Jack for turning up and said for being there to when you could. I know you were busy, and um, we will see you next time.